gosh, uh, let me just say, I love you and I watch you on Modern Family. I just Oy. adore you. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here. You look nervous. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. What? 10? Oh my are God, you? of course you have to be nervous. And where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Wow, oh, she's so nervous, though. Oh my gosh. Tell me something, boy Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Or do you need more? Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? Just shut your eyes for a change. In all the bad times, I fear myself. I'm up the deep end. This moment is unbelievable. That wasn't you singing, was it? No. It wasn't someone behind you. <laughs> like Lady Gaga. <laughs> it was me. It really was you. And you know what? You, you are you are so likable, so humble, bearing in mind you've got this you must have great friends. <laughs> yeah. Great parents. But yeah. sometimes I do get bullied, so... Do you? Yeah. Aww. Okay, well, you know, we hear this, unfortunately, a lot. But there's one way you, you win over bullies. It's by being happy and successful. You know that. Yes. Bullies yes. are always threatened about talented people. So in a weird way, it's a compliment. And it shows your strength that you've come all the way from Canada to be here. And we are honored to have you as our guest. It was always my dream to be on AGT, you know? Sorry, that's coming true. What did you think, Sophia? It was amazing. It was breathtaking. You're 10 years old. That's impossible to sing like that at 10 years old. And you know what? Let's see who is going to bully you after this. And if you happen when you walk in, when you go, talk about it somewhere I knew you know. Cause this could be the end. You are so amazing! Since I was
was very little. I just wanted to sing for Simon. I really want to impress him. That would be so amazing. And this is the biggest opportunity of my life. I really hope to win the show. You won once, right? Yeah. You think you can? I hope so. Miss Angelina Jordan, go out there and show Simon what you got. All right. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years oh. old. So you are now 13. And 13, yes. You are 13. <laughs> yeah. I've waited 10 years to sing for Simon, and I'm oh. finally... <laughs> So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, tonight? No, we don't. <laughs> what, is it, what is it about Simon? He's just amazing and he's a legend. <laughs> he is. He is a legend. Yeah, he is. Well, Angelina, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Can you just come up to the mic like you're going to be here? Yeah. Mm. something really special, a star, and as they would say in Norway, Jai Elskadai. Oh, thank you. I love you too. And I think this moment, this time on stage, this song, this performance is going to change your life and your career forever. I believe that. Everything about tonight felt like it came from you. The arrangement of the song, the simplicity of it. I've never heard that song in that version before. Seriously, this was an amazing performance. How are you? I'm good. Are you a little bit less nervous than last time or more nervous? Because now we're like only one step away from the live shows. A little more nervous, actually, but so excited. 
What are you singing for us today? I'm going to be singing Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. Oh. A crowd favorite. Well, Angelica, I wish you good luck today. Thank you. How funny to you. I mean, I'm so, I'm so blown away because you walk out and there's this like, you know, you've got these like sneakers on and you look like this adorable little child. And then you open your mouth and it's like, how do those pipes fit in that tiny body? You are unbelievable. Thank you. I just feel like. Angelica, you are the chosen one. She's crying now, amore. You're amazing. You're so good. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous. That's okay to be nervous. That's totally understandable. What's your name? Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. Um, what's your favourite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're very sweet. And I'm guessing you're going to be singing for us? Yeah. Listen, don't be nervous. I know this is a big stage and there's lots of people here, but you're here for a reason, so go for it and good luck. Thank you.
poor me. You like this shy little thing when you first came out, and then you sing and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. Howie, what did you think? <laughs> oh, my God. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yeah. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan, and there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival, and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, would, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis, I'm Howie Mandel, and I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Can we get Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wrong wretch like me. I'm not kidding. In all the years we've ever done this, this has never actually happened before. I mean, I normally leave during the break because people do sing. So, <laughs> so this is actually the opposite. It actually brought me back into the room. This is what you wanted. This is your dream, yeah. to be on the stage, not oh, just to watch. So yes. You're 11 years old. Do you sing at school? 
I sing for some of the school events, but... Everybody's gonna know your name now, young lady. Your life has just changed. <laughs> what would you do with a million dollars? I don't even know. I mean, I would... <laughs> um, I would help my dad with uh, cancer research. Um, he had stage four colon cancer for the past nine years. So I would help him with that. Oh. We should just vote. What are we doing? We're vote? voting? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I think I know which way this is going to go. We're just going to vote. Yeah, and let's go. Go on with it. Yeah. Howie. Okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name's Darcy Lynn. Okay, and Darcy, who's that? My name's Petunia. Oh, it talks. <laughs> Is it a bunny? Yes. Oh. Is that a real bunny? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> okay. And Darcy, why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. I'm guessing is exactly like you. Very charming and adorable. You make my heart melt. You were brilliant. I'm trying to describe how amazing it was. You know what? And if it
sweet. Oh my god. Thank you for coming on the show. I bet you wasn't expecting that, was you? No. Come here. Oh. Well done. Well, Darcy, you are going straight to the live show. So then he came to me to ask, can I go for AGD at audition? And then, wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we had no idea how she's going to do on the big stage. Have you got any brothers or sisters? I got a little sister. Her name is Dion. Celine and Dion. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Celine, what artist are you going to be singing? Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> doing this show. Thank you. Watching our daughter chasing her dream, that, that was my first time crying. <laughs> I was so proud of her. We, we, we like you to have her. Yeah. Yes. This is Howie. Tonight, I'm going to be singing a song from a little sister. It's about how we love each other. Hey, Gigi. We're sisters and best friends. Gigi, Jay. Gigi. I like to sing because it makes people happy. I have been practicing a lot for my performance. Here we go. I have watched America's Got Talent for like forever. I want to go to the live show so badly. Can I go now? Bye. <laughs> Here Hi. she is. Celine. Celine. Yes. And I remember your name is Celine and your sister's name is Dion, right? Yeah. Because you guys are all a little bit obsessed with Celine Dion. Just a bit. So which Celine Dion song are you singing for us today? Well, today I'm not singing a Celine Dion song. I'm singing <laughs> How Am I Supposed to Live Without You. Oh. Wow. I wish you the best of luck. guest judge Laverne what did you think I just want to eat you up and like take you home you are so adorable and so cute and your voice is amazing thank you you are You're so, so talented too. thank you so much I am really blown away you are so talented unbelievable so adorable I might just have to Thank you so much, Laverne. Oh, yes. Where's Dion? Hi, Dion! Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, 
This is make or break for a lot of these people. And for the next act, Universal Studios! I remember you. I remember you too. <laughs> so just tell us who you are again, please, and where you're from. Um, man, from Northport, Florida. And just remind us how old you are. Ten. Well, you know what? All the young kids on the show this year are literally killing it. You had a great first audition. We're all rooting for you. Good luck, and I hope the next three minutes changes your life. Thank you. Ten years old and we are seeing acts come out here and they're sweating and they're not performing to par they're not stepping it up they're double your age and then you come out here yeah. and you show them how it's done That's really nice. thank you thank you so much the fact that you are you're just like such a normal person and to have a voice like this, it's not something you can train to get. It genuinely is a gift. Thank you. Just the fact that from a child comes an honesty yeah. and a truth. I mean, it's, it's, I, I feel like I'm a witness to something extremely special. At some point in my career, people will say, uh, what do you remember most? Uh, I remember hitting the golden buzzer. through I've completely changed my mind already yeah I think this is gonna be harder than I thought yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, 
a bird! Oh my gosh! I know! There's a bird just flew in here! She came to visit you! Victory! <laughs> I mean, that is pretty incredible. That is a sign. He flew and sat there for you. Whoa! That's a sign! Okay. All right. Howie, what did you think? Uh, well, I was not expecting that, and you're angelic. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it too. You have a beautiful voice. It was incredible. You are incredible. Thank you. Amazing. I agree. You are a star. I think you have a powerful voice. That was amazing. I really loved it. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I think, you know, auditioning and turning up sometimes is really, really important for your career. And I think you've been incredibly brave to come here, I have to say. Can I, I just want to talk to Terry for one moment. Terry, let me ask you a question. Yes, yes. Can I have a word? Yes, Do you yes. mind? Sorry. Come to me. Huh? What is wrong? I don't know. What happened? How would you feel if we were to do something different? I just... How do you feel about that? Yeah, 100%. Um, look, victory, uh, as I said, you know, turning up, you know, in terms of your career is really important. However, um, we're not going to give you a yes today. We're going to do something else we've never, ever, ever done on the show before. We are all going to give you something special. Five, four, three, two, one. Grace, you're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and are the people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> the stage is yours. Good luck. This 
is a show about surprises, and you use the word miracle, and I think you are a living, beautiful, walking miracle. Your original, the people not knowing your name, is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name. I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. You know what I predict for you? I think you are the next little Taylor Swift. Thank you so much. Wow. Howie Golden Buzzer. How's it feel? I feel like this, I'm kind of just daydreaming that I'm getting ready to wake up. Well, this is going to be a long dream because you're going straight through to the live show. You'll see it. Great girl. Wow. Thank you. What a great personality. I can't believe it. You have confetti in your hair. I do. You hear, you hear Simon Cow make a prediction that you're the next Taylor Swift? <laughs> Can I get your autograph? <laughs> so you think you've got a star now? I 100% think we've got a star. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I wow. really do. That is a big this, wow. this girl is special. She is yeah. special. Wow. And I'm now annoyed I didn't press the golden button. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. One is my son, and the other one was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry Green! I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. I feel it's Heidi chewing something. Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard, it really hurt. Hey Heidi, your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No, but it does. It takes the light outside from it makes the outside sense. and it gets darker around and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Make sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mom, I gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. Off. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you okay. just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is it. Who heard him tell me the word? 
That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Get him. They're Get cheating him, Heidi. Heidi. because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much, everyone. That is the word. Simon and Howie yeah. have won. <laughs> Thank you for playing Password. Millions of dollars. Damn it, everybody. Where's the million dollars? You won a million dollars. Where's the check? Where's the check? Word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your minds. OK. This is a mind reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> You'd be like, you know what? I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. Eh. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, not, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia. A lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well okay. first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them <laughs> don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. I <laughs> <laughs> was grumpy really sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing... Well, I admit it. I do admit it. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sally, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's between the white t-shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell-bottom pants. The white t-shirt. The white Simon everything. <laughs> Oh, that you is get everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! 
Howie. You know, we, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here Run we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah!